Hey, it's Glenn here with another important news flash from All Prospecting. What's happening today? I don't know. Check it out. We'll see you in the video. Bye. Well, so we have, uh, 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 you know, I partially sliced into this yesterday and uh, I was getting frustrated. I was trying to hold the, the stone and slice it and hold the um, fan too. I was uh, doing it from partially indoors. Well, it's just way too much fine dust, even with a breather on. So, uh, I was trying to figure out a way to clamp this down to hold it in place. So I don't need to hold the rock and slice through it and finally figured out a way. So I'm going to take it outside now and, uh, Yeah, so that's going to work. I got it all lined up with the cut I did yesterday. And, uh, you know, I thought I would take a hammer and bang it right here just to see the, uh, the type of crack. And I had to whack it really hard just to get that to break off. So it's, uh, you know, I'm taking a wild guess here whether it's, uh, sandstone, um, it's, uh, I don't think it's quartz, because uh, it has a grayish hue to it, it's very fine, but we're going to see what uh, happens, uh, it is, I guess, translucent in a way, it does uh, give off light, where did that little piece go, I always lose things, anyways, so we're going to get this outside, cut that tip off, and uh, see what it looks like. But uh, if I can't figure it out from here, uh, the other thing is uh, I highly doubt it, 90% doubt it, that it's white opal. But because uh, it's got a little bit too much of a different. Now there's a little piece that came off. There's a slice side of it. And as you can see, you can see light through it. Okay. So... I don't know, I'm not a gemologist. That's the br broken side, but as you notice, it broke off in a perfect, almost perfect line. And there's the cut side. And then the, the pieces that shattered off it broke off in perfect slivers too. So something, <coughs> it's not a crumbly rock or anything. So what the hell is it? Anyways, let's get this end piece off. And then we'll further scope it. And if I can't figure it out, well, damn it, I'm going to send it to, uh, I think there's a lab in Vernon. I'm in Alberta right now, temporary. But there's a lab in Alberta, uh, or sorry, in Alberta, in uh, Vernon, that uh, specializes in this. And I'll see if I can't dig that up. And uh, send this off. Send a good chunk of it off. And even give it to them for looking at it. I want to know what this is. It's really, really bugging me. Okay. Do you know what this is? Give some comments uh, below this video on YouTube, please. Thank you. We'll see you in the next uh, clip after you've got that. Maybe I'll try and capture some of them cutting it. It took me a good hour to figure this, this out. How to clamp this down and hold that odd-shaped stone. So I've got the bottom clamp holding this here making the brace so this can't slide this way and then I'm using the the slant on this and that so that this clamp is basically forcing it against this one forcing the stone this way to stay aligned so with that diamond blade we bought yesterday let's see what happens we'll see you in the next clip
that, I believe, is a piece of jade. There we go. That's very pretty. Very nice clean cut. You can see the uh, fine grains and the uh, brown hue there. And the brown hue there. I hope I'm getting this correct. Brown line. That tells me it's a piece of jade. Or, yeah, I don't think it's opal. But it's very hard to cut. Very nice slice. You can see where I hammered this really hard yesterday in the other clip before this um, and then I had to get some patience going here and try to mount that stone I just took the camera off here and uh, whoops took my protective cover off while I was doing that so I'll just have to put it back on later turn my uh, thing around to this side. Look at that. Hope that sun won't block it out. There, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That all that's telling me it's a piece of jade. Now these lines are just the cut lines from when I mixed made a mistake yesterday. Well trying to hold it by hand but too bad I couldn't get that off in a nice slice. So in the next clip I'm going to shine a light in there. And see what it looks like. All right, see you in the next clip. Thanks. Well, we're not going to play some guitar. We're going to take a look at this uh, stone. Let me just hit the light here for a minute. Alrighty. So there it is. As saw outside is the stone cut now embarrassingly enough I'm waiting for my black lights to arrive from Amazon they just ordered them I should have done that last week but they were been slowly getting things together and uh, we never have one we always use little lights and that uh, but we're about to get uh, serious about uh, uh, gem hunting besides gold and stuff so we uh, ordered a four pack off Amazon the two spares in case we have friends that want to go out with us whatever which we usually do or family and uh, so yeah let's uh, throw sort the of light on here off I'm going to use a temporary light that I've set up and just show you the uh, the translucency in this uh, boulder that we uh, cut the slice out of now I'm just using a high powered 500 watt funneled light for now because I don't have any flashlight that will go through this. We'll just put the stone up on the end here. <laughs> Not doing things in the dark here, <laughs> so as to speak. Alright, so you can see the uh That's a bit of translucency to it. And uh, I was looking at the uh, the grains. Now those lines are the cut lines. But I was looking at the fibrous look of this and I'm I think I'm going to declare this uh, see that the brown, what I call hue to it there. And then uh, I'm going to declare this uh, um, white nephrite. Just throw the light back on here. And now I'm just going to go into some better lighting here and uh, show this piece here to it. Uh, piece that uh, broke off and uh, you can see the fibers okay the 
these lines are the cut lines. You can see that brown sort of a streak through there. And I suspected that in the form of video I made a couple years ago. From what I could see, I found a boulder was almost similar to the weight and size of this and almost looked the same like this wasn't, but and I put this a couple years ago. I show these like uh it's obviously just normal rock or something that that would have shattered. That'd be jagged edges. This has uh been tumbled and tumbled and tumbled in a river and uh I think the way it was shaped it was formed that way on the deep pressure. So I'm pretty sure it's not white enough, right? Uh if you think different to let me know. In fact, if you're a specialist that knows what you're doing, can prove it, provide a video and a link of who you are, and I'll send you this piece. I'll give you this piece to uh, sample it and uh, prove me right or wrong. I'd be more than happy to make sure you know what you're doing, and uh, preferably somebody that has a shop and that uh, does testing for people or something. Someday I don't know if it's worth your while or fun or at least I could give you a shout out from my channel to yours for work you do or whatever. But there it is and uh, yeah. Now one, one last thing, I'm just going to pop open a page here, uh, trusty old Google. And uh, you see these little uh, things here. Little they look like they're flakes, but they're not. Now, you remember, I, I had to whack this with an 18-ounce uh, um, framing hammer. I know it's 18-ounce because that's what we use for framing. When I used to frame uh, fences and and uh, decks. Okay. Um, mine was an 18-ounce, so you could drive spikes. And 16 ounces for a roofer. And I did 27 years of hand shingling, too. 16 years and then 10 years. Anyways, going into the roofing and sh oh my god, getting off track here. Just kind of, uh, I like to compare things with things that are I've done or whatever. But uh, now, back to what I was about to show you. Take a look at that. And nothing in here is, you know, loose. You'd think it's flaky. Okay. Once again, these circular lines are the saw. But then you see the hues in the fabrics. Taking a look on Google, this is not my photo. I don't claim it is. Um, it's a, a post on Google. Natural Cunlan Jade Rough Nephrite Raw. Okay. And you see on this, what do we see there? What do we see there? And, and, and what about the color there? Are you getting this? So that's a, I think that's a good way to uh, somewhat assess or assume close to the fact that this is nephrite. Um, I had to use a <laughs> diamond blade, diamond tipped blade which was, uh, I, I picked up the one that was for granite, including granite. Granite's uh, super hard, as you know. Uh, if you don't, it is super hard because it's formed uh, beneath the, element, what's it called, the magma, beneath the, way beneath there, uh, was it, 10, about 10 kilometers, I think it is, that you'll find uh, granite. as uh, formed under high pressure, high heat, 6,000 degrees or something. Go ahead, quote me wrong. But uh, I was watching a, watching a documentary on on uh, TV, actually, uh, about uh, some uh, things. And there was uh, actually a segment about granite, how hard granite is. So, getting back to the story here. This is telling me... This was formed under high pressure, high heat. Probably has the most hardness, I think, of what, about six? I think Jade's 10 or something. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's uh, white nephrite. And it's uh, 
We'll see what we're going to do with it. Maybe we'll slice pieces off and sell it if, if I can get for sure 100% clarity on it. And, uh, or sell the whole piece as it is. Try and raise money. We're going to be raising money for our uh, endeavors to get a mining operation going here. Uh, hopefully within the next two years. We want to go off grid. Uh, get some solar powers and other things. And see if we can't get uh We want to go off grid again. Get some dogs and get our own chickens. And all kinds of things. And live off the land again. And... Uh, yeah, because the world's getting ugly and scary out there, and I, I, I just, I grew up in the wilderness, and the wife loves it in the wilderness, and we, we love it in the wilderness, and uh, our cats loved it in the wilderness, and here we are stuck in a city again. So yeah, um, setting up the website for the uh, aprospecting.ca too is coming up, and uh, we'll be giving away uh, autographed t-shirts and ball caps, starting with ball caps, and. Uh, and we'll have some merchandise for sale. And we got some tons of garnets and stuff that we picked up over the past uh, uh, seven years or so. And, and we'll see if we can't sell some of them or give some away or whatever. We got some uh, um, platinum, some gold um, um, stuff. And, uh, but I got to dig that out, show that out too. So uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, appreciate the thumbs up, appreciate the likes, appreciate the shares, especially the shares because that's what gets more views. And we hope to, uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a selfie here for those of you that, that may not know. Now, in this next uh, clip, uh, um, is sensitive, maybe sensitive, there's no scabbing. It's the actual scar from my incision from the open heart surgery I had on the 1st of June. Um, I passed a congratulations phase on the uh, 13th, a couple of days ago. It's the 15th today. Uh, get to legally drive again, and uh, now we can go out scouting. And uh, so I'm just going to do a, a quick switch over. So if you don't want to see the scar on my chest, I suggest to stop watching now and we'll see you in the next video. But here's uh, what a scar looks like. There we go. Kind of unshaven today. And my voice has uh, changed. My voice box has changed from the weakening. So there's, uh, there's my uh, chest now. How am I getting this camera? What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> their lift so the three dots unfortunately I can't get the three dots are uh, where they insert tubes and wires up to your heart and then they put a box over there and it's uh, I still got massive amounts of uh, glue from the taping you did and I couldn't really uh, try to clean it off with the uh, alcohol and everything just rub myself red it was powerful these so they put on and, and uh, they put a monitoring box here, stick it to you, and the wires run up into your heart to monitor your beating and to make sure everything's going well. I was in 11 days, which is, uh, I was told, which was a little bit longer than, well, I watched guys get released before me, and they were came in after me, and uh, I had a bit of a time recovering. I had uh, severe whiplash on the right shoulder when I went in from uh, from another problem and suffered a lot of pain. So uh, this is um, this doesn't hurt anymore. It's only been in the past week week and a week and a half that the uh, bone pain has stopped. And the clicking there was a lot of clicking. I was concerned and I called them about it and and they said not to worry. Now that doesn't happen anymore and it feels like the uh, cartilage has started to meld, mend, where the bone with the sternum was cut from uh, right from the uh, bottom up to the collarbone. And then uh, for the past two weeks up until a few days ago, I was getting a lot of pectoral pain. 
massive amount on the one side and I had to go get the topical painkillers for that and because uh, I couldn't cough without screaming in pain uh, bring a grown man down to his knees and I'm a hefty woodsman hefty I'm not hefty anymore put it this way I was 278 when I went in that's pounds and I'm now uh, just under 250 250 or sorry 255 254 in the mornings and uh, which is good because uh, I had a lot of uh, um, excess weight on. I want to get down to 220 and then build back up, build my actual muscles up to, the, to 240, 250, whatever. Get that strength back for swinging the axe like I did and swinging the chainsaw like I did in my former videos. And uh, we didn't have a fair chance at the off grid, unfortunately, thanks to. Uh, uh, a couple of other people who made life miserable for themselves only and then it spewed into us and we just had to leave and that's another story I was explaining before and we want that second chance and uh, so now we're going to raise some money and, and just do it. So yeah, um, that's it. That's what a open scar looks like after open heart surgery. Oh, not open scar, sorry. Um, and they, they didn't put staples in, they put the titanium wires in to wire the sternum back, it stays in there. And then these, this is stitched from the inside, and they stitch from the bottom. Uh, so it'll stitch it inside, up to the top, and then tie it off at the top. I didn't realize that until there. So where's my stitches? I just got out of surgery. <laughs> and they have a, had a see-through patch on there so you could watch for bleeding and stuff. And, that part of it was, was okay, but uh, if I ever hated anybody in my life, which I've never done and hope I never have to, uh, because I don't believe in it, uh, I believe live and let live and leave alone, right? I believe in justice and I believe in every person having the right to do what everybody else does as long as you don't inf and impose on other people or, or pump your ideals or whatever it is you have that you think other people should follow. Follow what you want to follow and leave others to follow what they want to follow. My battery's low. I got 15%. It just told me. I better end this video. We'll see you in the next one. And hopefully, I'll be shaving by then. <laughs> Good luck to you all and uh, keep panning. And if I can do it, make come back and get out there and start looking for gold. So can you. Don't let uh, anything stop you. If you got, uh, I wish I had the strength. If you got the strength, do something. Have fun. See you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for liking, subscribing sharing and hitting the bell notifications.